Area leaders remember Longboat Key's acting police chief, Chief Al Hogold, died in a motorcycle crash on Monday. And today we're learning more about his public service contributions. And as SNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak explains, it goes way beyond the area of law enforcement. That's right, Lena. At 63 years young, Al Hogold was more than a public figure on the Sun Coast. According to those that knew him, he was a husband, a father, a friend, and a respected colleague. Al Hogel was no stranger to riding motorcycles. Those that knew him say it's what he loved to do. But it was a motorcycle accident on Monday that took Hogel's life, leaving colleagues and friends with just memories of a man they say had no enemies. He had an ability to relate to people. Uh, everyone liked him. Uh, he was very friendly. He would talk to everyone that he met. He never uh, showed any favoritism. Hogel spent much of his life serving the public. His tenure spanned more than three decades with the Sarasota Police Department, the Sarasota City Commission, and roles as Chief of Police in Bradenton and Longboat Key. Al Hogel was a facilitator. Al Hogel put people together. Al Hogel mentored his entire career. That reputation to mentor included acting Sarasota Police Chief Michael Holloway many years ago. He was, if I am not mistaken, my second shift lieutenant. Uh, and he took the time when I was a very young rookie uh, to teach uh, me some lessons. Sheriff Tom Knight says he spoke with Hogel at a conference just last week before he left for his annual motorcycle trip to North Carolina. Al was a good guy. He liked to have a good time. You know, I always look at him as a baby boomer. Not only is he a chief um, and a person well-respected community, he's a true baby boomer, as we know baby boomers, and like to have fun, like to have a good time. Hogel is survived by his wife and daughter. And according to his family, Hogel's body is due back in Sarasota on Thursday, so certainly a tough situation here. And I know lots of people, you know, wanting to pay tribute. Do we have any sense of, you know, funeral arrangements or special ceremony memorials? Uh, not at this time. His friends and family said their, their priority right now is to get his body back into town, into Sarasota, but there is most likely going to be some sort of a ceremony or, uh, or, or a funeral later in the week. Okay, and of course we'll keep an eye on that. And then in terms of his position, uh, any plans for what happens there? Yeah, the Longboat Key town manager told me today that they haven't selected anyone or anything like that, but they're already in the works of getting